When I uh, came first to, to Dortmund, Jurgen Klopp said, listen, Miktarian is your family name, it's too long. So Henrik, it's too long. Let's call you Miki. Are you okay? I said, okay, no problem. And since that day, they start calling me Miki. Henrik, you're Armenian and it's a very different place to here. What was it like growing up there? At that time when I was in Armenia, you know, we had a lot of uh, problems uh, with our neighbors, Azerbaijan, so we were in war and uh, until now we have this bad situation. But growing up in Armenia, to become a football player and to go out from Armenia, it's a little bit hard. You come from a family that's steeped in football, because am I right in saying that your dad was a striker? Yeah. Was it him that introduced you to yes, football? Yes, he was a football player and uh, I was always happy to go with him on training. And he was my drive, he was my dream. I wanted as well to become a football player because, you know, being in this kind of family, you're supposed to continue the job that he is doing. So even until now, I'm thankful to him that I could choose this, uh, this sport. And I know that your father passed away when you were quite young. What kind of an impact did that have on you and your ambitions as a footballer? At the time I was very young, maybe I didn't feel the impact, but uh, I knew that uh, he's watching me from the sky and uh, he has to be very proud. Who was your idol when you were growing up? Like many lovely players, you know, but I think the main one was Zinedine Zidane. I was in love with his uh, way of playing football. I don't know why, but he impressed me as a football player. Of course, like when I started watching football, I was just watching the games of Zinedine Zidane. You were brought to Borussia Dortmund by Jurgen Klopp. What was it like to play for him? And how does his style contrast, I guess, to Jose Mourinho's? Mm, I'm thankful to him because he picked me from uh, Shakhtar Donetsk when I was in Ukraine. Thanks to him because he worked a lot on me, like uh, most of he has worked uh, on my personality, on my psychological part, because I was really very, very uh, stressed after a few games when we were playing very bad. And I'm thankful to him because he showed me the way, how I have to do and what I have to do. He was always supporting me saying that okay everyone is doing mistakes everyone is playing bad but you don't have to bring your head down you always have uh, to to keep your head up but to compare to Jose Mourinho they are two different person uh, like both of them they are very friendly both of them they are very good in their jobs like two two big managers but uh, the way of their uh, work it's is different what's day-to-day -day life now like under Jose at the beginning, we had a, lit a little bit like not problems, but a little bit difficulties. But then, starting from November, we start winning. And Mkhitaryan doesn't need anybody else. Day by day, you understand uh, what he, he expects from you, and you are trying to do your best to to be involved in uh, in the training and in the game he wants to see. He said that he was protecting you at the beginning of the season. Did you understand? his thinking and the thought process. You know, at that time, even when I wasn't playing, I had always the smile on my face because if I would be sad, if I would be mad, nothing would help me. And that's why I was just being passionate, just waiting for the time, and I was sure that my time will come. I will just have one more chance. If I was like 23, 24 years old, when I just came to Manchester, maybe I would suffer. I would, I would have many problems because I would take things very, very like seriously. I mean, if I wouldn't play, I would, I would be sad, I would be mad, I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't talk to my friends, to my family. But then I said, this is life. If you just smile to your life, the life will smile, will smile to you as well. So I just kept smiling, I just kept working. Now I'm, I'm happy. He's in here, the Armenian, Mkhitaryan, fabulous goal. Jose Mourinho said that he needs more goals. Are you confident that you'll be able to bring in some more goals? Maybe like another scorpion? Uh, I don't know if I will, I will be able uh, for the next game to score a scorpion goal. And there's Mkhitaryan! What a finish that is! When I've scored the, the scorpion goal, I couldn't even imagine in my life that I will do that. It's not always about scoring goals, but it's all about what are you giving to the club. So that's the main thing, to win.